Good afternoon, viewers. I am Jack Katzenick, the business editor and business reporter here at the Press Enterprise. I'm here with my colleague, Deborah Grzecki. Um, Hello. The two of us spent uh, most of this morning at an economic forecast Thank event you. down in downtown Riverside Thank where um, Beacon Economics, their founding partner, Christopher Thornburg, and one of his top men, Jordan Levine, um, spoke to an Inland Empire gathering. It, it was an event sponsored by UCR. We did. And basically they told us where they stand on the Inland Empire economy right now and where they think it's going. And um, Deb, you and I were not working in the same office, but we basically got the same message from Chris Thornburg way back in like 2005. And he was prophetic, you remember that? He was. I'll never forget uh, that the day that he was among the first economists in the Southern California market to use the R word. Uh, it, people didn't even want to mention the word recession. And it was very difficult to, uh, for the economists to come out with the final decree that, yes, we truly were in recession. It was 2005. I, I went back into our files and looked it up today. He talked about people buying houses on credit, the price is going up, up, up. And he said, if these prices collapse and it's not a soft landing, there could be a recession. And in 2005, the economy was doing just great. And everybody, if you said the word recession, people would say, are you crazy? That's right, they did. They scoffed at us. They, and he was, he was on it. They actually said that it was the media's fault that we were reporting stories that the economy was winding down. Uh, when in fact, um, Chris, Thornburg and reporters all across the country and particularly in Southern California were crunching the numbers and we were really seeing the data play out. Yeah, yeah that's very true. And um, fast forwarding in a couple of years, I was at an event with Thornburg in late in 2008. Obviously, we knew the economy was in trouble. He addressed a crowd and said that it could last two years and the unemployment in the Inland Empire could get as high as 12%. At the, at the time, it was maybe 9%. Mm -hmm. And there was like a gasp right. in the crowd. I don't know if you were at that event. I, well, I may have been, but I remember hearing a lot of um, economic forecasts where there were a lot of gasps and a lot yeah. of uh, loud thuds. Um, the, that old saying, you could hear a pin drop in the room, uh -huh. was exceptionally um, true at that time. It was. Uh, it was scary times for a lot of people. Well, they should have been scary, because um, as it happens, it got as high as 15% in two years, so it was much worse than anybody thought. Today, Chris was in town, and it is getting better. Um, it is. Unemployment is 10.4% now. Beacon Economics believes, and I have took some notes, he believes it'll keep going down basically in the 9% range next year, in 2015, the 8% range, then to 7 by the beginning of 2017, he thinks maybe down to 6% in the Inland Empire, which would be probably acceptable to a lot of people. Also, if you look at the number of jobs in the Inland Empire, back in the, in the good years, in 2006, there were 1.3 million payroll jobs, people going to work every day, coming home with a paycheck. Um, the recession took about 180,000 jobs away from that, which is a huge loss. We've only gained about 34,000 of those lost jobs, so we have a long way to go. And Beacon Economics thinks we'll get caught up to where we were in 2006 in 2017. So I would call that a lost decade. I mean, no other way to define it. I think they did. They actually said that at the very beginning of the summit. And what was cool for me to hear was that um, I remember one time there was some data. I mean, you know, we're business people. We're numbers people. We like to see numbers. And so one day everyone said, how many people are really moving into the Inland Empire? And so we kind of looked at it. And at one point someone calculated that 53 people were coming in here on a daily basis. Yeah. And um, it is. And, and it was at one time the fastest growing place in the country. Mm -hmm. Well, today they said it that we could once again become uh, among the fastest growing and strongest places in the country, yeah. that we're getting there. And we could enjoy that sort of uh, glory again, if you will. And people that are moving here, or people that are already here, rather, your specialty being real estate, 
Um, we got a pretty good report on the real estate market. Today, we did, we? we did. And so you know those 20% numbers that we've been talking about and writing about and everybody's kind of pinching themselves and saying, is this, is this too good to be true? Is this, when is it going to stop? Um, is there a bubble? Are we at pre-bubble? Well, um, today, Christopher Thornburg um, and his team at Beacon Economics said that um, we can expect to see the 20% gains going forward through the rest of this year and even 2014, um, uh, that it should be for the 20% in the first half of 2014 and then 10 to 20%, um, uh, the 10 to 20% range in the first quarter of 2015. So incredible home price gains, but you have to realize that that's not going to happen for everyone. There are still people that are in trouble. There are still homes that are underwater. We still have these economic headwinds that are coming our way, and this consumer uncertainty is real. Um, they talked about that a lot today. Jack? Uh, uncertainty, it, it, that word comes up all the time. All the time. And what he had a commercial or a cartoon from Pogo uh -huh. that he put forth on the screen that we both kind of giggled at yeah. because it said. For those of you born <laughs> not that many years ago, Pogo was a cartoon that appeared in the newspapers for years. Are you, Pogo was a little possum? I think so. I'm, I'm not and, sure, but um, a cute name. Um, we have met the enemy and it is us, which one of Thornburg's points today was that the economy is not healing fast enough and these are kind of self-inflicted wounds inflicted by people in Washington that are more interested in politics than economics. Um, and we're not going to get into a political spiel right now, but no. um, much of today's discussion dwelt on that, and probably it should have. So that's the caveat to all of this. There is sort of a, this, this could happen but for um, these events sort of disclaimer. Um, and for the real estate part, the thing that they uh, they also talked about, and they didn't bring it up in the re in the um, summit, but they did mention it in the, in the report that they gave everyone that came to the event today, was that there are concerns about rising interest rates too. I mean, everybody's thinking, well, should I refinance? Should, what should I do? Is mm -hmm. this the time to start a business? What about those SBA loans? And, and they say that it's, there's, there is going to be a little bit of a pushback there, but clearly what they're seeing are that the interest rate uh, ramp up isn't happening as quickly or as rapidly as they thought it might. And part of that might be because of the consumer confidence. The other part is that all the jiggering that's going on with regard to the, to the lending and the banks. There's, there's still a lot of uncertainty there. There's still a lot of things to hash out in the mortgage lending realm of things. So. Um, so, it, you know, it's not, you know, 100%, but if, it, it was a breath of fresh air today to hear some yeah. of the data. 20%. I'm doing the math on my house right now as we speak. Right. Deb, thanks very much. Sure. Thank you. Bye.